hello everyone so today we will study about php the basic level of php as i say so this session assumes that you have a prior knowledge of html and you also have a prior knowledge of what is vamp how to install it and how to you know start the local host and uh, apache in your uh, computer so uh, now we move on to what will be covered today right so first we'll cover a little about in current trends in development what are the trends that are going on in today's development then web development what is web development how it is different from normal coding that we do php basics and then we'll move on to php operators and loops then php classes and functions php forms php sessions at the end right so uh, this is the basic that i consider is necessary for making an application without a database connectivity so you can use uh, make your file you make your application with these men, this much of knowledge so we will do our coding in the object oriented approach so also you need to have the prior knowledge of what is oops and what are the concept of oops basic concepts of oops like public private and all these concepts right so let understand uh, what used to happen previously is to make a software you will write multiple lines of code right and then you will distribute it, this software via maybe hard this uh, cd or dvd drive or maybe through uh, this usb drive right and then you do an update uh, let's say now you have made a new version so this happens with microsoft office as well first there is microsoft 2007 and then 2000 comes in so now what we have to do is go to the shop again buy it again you know reinstall it and do the again a complete process again what about the compatibility with other with other os let's say you have developed a operating you have developed a software for windows now there are other uh, other os also like mac is there then linux is there so you'll have to write the completely different code for all of these right and then uh, again this is not the only problem supposedly i want to run the same software on mobile so i'll have to write again a piece of code to make it for mobile then mobiles have many versions right iphone android then normal g2me phones so the problem with this type of development was it's very difficult to replicate you have to write very much like very much great piece of code and then rep replicating it is a very big you know task obviously because of these things the cost increases because you have to keep a team for developing in windows for developing in mac for developing in linux and then uh, this uh, team is like a cost to you and then when you do an update to distribute the entire software that is again a cost to you so what this this thing is very is a very cumbersome task to do away with this thing the web development is a right solution in a way what is web development actually web development is based on the concept like make it one place and run at multiple in web development your piece of code is generally lies at one end let's say on a central server which is then accessed by so uh, if i highlight these things so in this uh, image as you can see this is a central server right and uh, then you have multiple clients so this is one of the client then you have multiple uh, people who are using it so you develop at one place you whenever you have to make a change you change at your central server so let's say this is your central server again so you will change here and this will be reflected in every computer you know every other computer let's say this computer and multiple computers so you just need to have a team at a central place which will make only for a single uh, os because it will be anyhow be running by web browser right so web browser is same uh, is like it is a task of somebody else to make a web browser for different oss so you have to just worry about making your application and your team gets reduced your cost get reduced so this is the basic advantage of a web development software so that's why these days web development is a very hot uh, topic obviously you don't have to develop even for mobiles separately you just have to do a little bit changes and it will work fine right so this is the concept of web development now we'll move on to the php basics so to move on to php basics uh, we'll start uh, we will cover this topic in in the next video and we will start our coding right away we won't do any ppt and stuff so please uh, start your vamp for the same i'm starting mine 
and also you know open your notepad so the good part with the PHP is you can code it in notepad you can also use multi different kind of PHP editors so Dreamweaver is one let's uh, write so there are many available in the market for free also Dreamweaver is, you have to buy it so we'll start with the development in the next video and uh, start your vamp and everything right okay bye thank you